I'm here to show everybody how I blend my natural hair with my half wig. Um, this is my first YouTube video, and I'm doing it because I got like, I cannot go anywhere without getting stopped and asked about my hair or getting a compliment or something. So, here it is in the front, the side, and that's the back. And I got this from my local beauty supply. It didn't have, like, it wasn't like a typical brand. Um, it was a while ago, so I threw away the package. I don't know what color it is. Um, I know y'all are, are going to hate that. But I'm just, I don't know how to get the information about it because it was so long ago. And actually, it came more curly, um, like more tight curls, like this. And then last night... I was looking up the Lejay wig and trying to find one that matched my hair color, but I couldn't find one. So I just thought, hmm, I'll just brush that one out, brush brush this wig out. And I did that, and I love it. So, and I did that with my Demon brush. Just took it and, like, make it made it bushy to blend more with my hair. Okay, so what I have on now is just a regular ouchless band. And then I had two bobby pins in, but I'm just going to show you how I prepare it for nighttime. Because obviously I don't sleep in this. Um, and then this is all the natural hair I have out. Um, you can have less or more, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, I do this at night and then in the morning it's curly. And so this is what I'm going to show you. So what I do is... I just wet it a little bit, like not soaking wet, but just enough to kind of get those products to all blend in smooth. And I take a little bit of the Cantu Shea Butter. And I do four, um, four little twist out pieces. So I rub the can to shea butter on just a little bit more like that. Okay. And um, I'm natural. I've been natural for about two years. Um, well, no relaxer. Obviously, I have hair color. Um, and then I just do four sections like that. Um, so I put the Cantu Shea Butter on, then I take a little bit of coconut oil, just like about that much. I try to use this sparingly because I don't really like the smell of it. And then, maybe a little bit more, um... Okay, so the camera died, but I'm just making four just regular old twists. Right to the end like that. Just to get that little curl, you know, that little spiral curl at the bottom. And this will blend right in with that frizzy wig because it's frizzy curly and my hair's frizzy. When I had when I was wearing it before I brushed it out, it really didn't um it didn't blend that well. I mean it was okay. I still got a lot of compliments on it. But when I started doing this, I am sitting in the library and people were walking up to me just I couldn't even study. I had to move. Okay, so all four of these are twisted up. And then I'm going to come back. It's going to be the next morning. And I'm going to untwist them. But really, it's not the next morning. Just for YouTube, just for you guys. I went ahead and like light blow dry, just on low, a low setting. 
um, just for like five minutes so it could be dry and I can show you how it turns out. So you, um, oh, I take a little bit of coconut oil, just like a tiny bit. I'm really not a fan of the smell of this, but it does hold moisture good. So just run it over there. And oh, for FTC purposes, the half wig featured in this video was purchased was purchased um, with my own funds, aka my husband and I, our funds because. Um, You just kind of untwist it. Okay, so let me just untwist it there. It's actually not all those right. There's a little piece. Okay. You just untwist it like that. Um, I did not do this hair color on myself um, initially. Um, somebody at a, where I went, did it, um, but recently, it was a while ago, so I have roots, you know, about that many roots, um, recently I just touched up these front roots so it could blend better with the new blonde-ish half I'm getting, so, yeah, don't ask me about the hair color because I didn't do it. Um, oh, but it is similar to, I don't know her name. I think it's like Fiery, it's like, the title of the video is like Fiery Inferno. Um, she's a natural and she did like a color of like blonde in the front and red in the back. And I wouldn't got the same thing. Okay, so you just take that front of the half wig. A comb in the front and a comb in the back. Um, and I just take a bobby pin on each side, one on the side, one on the side, um, just to make sure that my roots are covered up right there and that it blends better. Just take it and slide the bobby pin in. Okay. So then you just take it, take your hair, and, well I take my hair, and just take it back, like that. And I think if you could find a curly wig in your color and just brush it out, you get kind of the same effect as this. I don't really think it has to be this particular wig, so me not knowing the name of it, although that sucks, because I hate when I watch videos and people are like, Ooh, this is the wig, but they don't have any information about it. Um, sorry about that again, but I don't know. I didn't really think I was going to end up doing a video on it, so I didn't keep it. But I just take a, a band and do like that. So, that is my blending procedure for this blonde wig. I do know it has some 613 and some 33, some 27 in there, but I don't know what the color combo is exactly. And I definitely don't know what the brand is, but it wasn't any popular one like Sensational or Ultra or it was, it wasn't, it was one that I had never heard of. Um, so that is it and if you have any questions or comments leave them below um and thank you thanks for watching bye